I'm Kate Nickerson or Kate Loves Makeup. Um, today I wanted to do a declutter and go through like my collection because I don't have any friends to do it with right now. So you guys get to watch me do it. So I'm just gonna start with eyeshadows and just like go for it. So I'm gonna start with my Pan That palette of 2021 because I'm not getting rid of it so I can just like show it. So this is the Soft Glam palette from a brand I don't support anymore. We all know who they are. Then I also have the Jackie Ina palette. I'm just calling it the Jackie Ina palette because that's what it is. Um, I will be keeping this one. It just has really, really fun colors. Um, yeah, I love playing around with that. Next, I'm going to go through my ColourPop palettes next, I think, because I have so many of them. So the first one is the Yes Please palette from ColourPop. I think this has another name too. I've seen people call it like multiple things, but I don't. I don't know. Um, I absolutely adore this palette. I have some usage. You just can't really see it. Uh, I think this will be my pan that palette for next year because I just love her. The next ColourPop one that I have and I'm keeping is the At Forest Sight, the Raw Beauty Christie um, collaboration palette. I love the colors. It's like a reminder of home. I live in Washington, the Western Washington area too. So this like palette and the color scheme, everything is just like perfect for where I'm at. And so yeah, that's the bigger ones. I'm gonna go through the nine pans that I have too. So the nine pan palettes that I have and will most likely be keeping most of them, I'm assuming. Um, the first one is the Mint To Be palette. I like mint. It is a really good color for me. I just, I just love mint. You can like see all the powder everywhere. I'm so sorry. These are gonna be so dirty. Uh, the next one is the Uh Huh Honey palette. Oh, just like a warning. I take out the glitter shades because, um, my eyes do not work well with glitter. I get like really swollen and red and puffy. Um, so all of the glitter shades are taken out of these palettes if I could take them out. So this is the Uh Huh Honey palette from them. I have dips in like several shades. I love yellow. It's great for summer. It's really cute. I did a tutorial three looks one palette with this one. Um, if people want to see that again, I can do a three looks one palette for like all of the nine pans that I own and like the Yes Please and the Raw Beauty Christie one. I just let me know if you would like, like if people would like that. Um, oh, the next one, this is like my favorite of the nine pans. I mean like all of the ones are my favorite, but this is one that I use very, very frequently. And that's the um, Baby Got to Peach palette. I have like several dips in this as well. One of my hands down favorite palettes that I use like very very frequently which is saying something because i tend to skip around palettes quite a bit the next one is the orange you glad palette i i'm kind of torn on this one like i like the oranges but i just don't reach for it very often if that makes sense this one used to be my favorite this is the um blue moon palette from ColourPop. Yeah, I've got like a huge dip in Starry Eyed. You can't even see it, but like I haven't played with this in a while. So this is going to be my next like next time I do makeup. I'm going to play with this one, I think. I really, really enjoy it. Oh, fan favorite. Lilac You A Lot. Love this palette. You know, it's pretty like it's very lavender-y, light purple-y. Love that. That's a good color scheme for me too. The Just My Luck palette, I have not touched this in a really long time. I think I'm going to declutter it because I just don't use greens and I have plenty of green in other palettes. I feel like I can get that from other palettes, so that's going to be the first palette I declutter. Um, Mean Squeeze, ooh, okay. I don't wear reds very often, like I'm wearing red right now. This is from, I'm actually wearing the Blend Bunny um, Cosmetics. I think I will keep this no i need to declutter i am gonna declutter this one because i have the reds in the blend bunny palette i don't know the blend bunny palette is like obviously a favorite of mine it's really hard for me to let go 
of colorful palettes though. Like I have a problem and I know I have a problem. I don't want to talk about it. Okay, so the next one I'm going to touch on is this was, okay, this is a brand that um, has a lot of controversy around them and that is Lunar Sky Cosmetics. This is, they're not a brand anymore. They're a pastel palette and I honestly have all of these colors in other palettes. I don't need it. I'm going to declutter it. I just don't. I have not touched this. It's brand new. Yeah, that's how, like, that's how much I've been using other palettes compared to it. This one. <laughs> I will not be decluttering this one. This is the Carnival XL Pro Palette. She's a big boy. She's big. I actually hit my very first eyeshadow pan in the, like, neon green ecstasy shade. Very proud of that. Um, I've got dips in a few other shades, too absolutely adore that palette. This one I'm going to talk about is the Blend Bunny Cosmetics Blends palette. Oh my god. They're matte, like matte pigments. Absolutely fucking stunning. Oh my god, I probably shouldn't have said that. Whatever. I'm not monetized. Who fucking cares? Um, I normally would never buy an all matte palette. Like, this is a first for me. I've never bought an all matte palette. Like, I tend to stay with like mattes and shimmers i don't buy all shimmers all mattes but if you don't have this palette like you need it it's amazing but it's just i don't know i i pick it up for almost every look i do like honestly i honestly pick it up for almost every single look i do especially colorful looks this is my bitch i love her all right the next one so i got this before i went cruelty free <sighs> Nobody, like, dragged me for this, but, like, if I ever wanted to buy stuff that wasn't cruelty-free, I would buy Pat McGrath. That's, like, my number one, um, thing is Pat McGrath. Uh, this is the Mothership 8 Divine Rose palette. Divine Rose 2. So, very luxe packaging. Oh, you can see all my fingerprints. I'm sorry, that's gross. Um, I'm keeping this because it was $125. That's it. That's all I got. It was $125. I'm not giving it up. I will pan this before I give it up. Yeah. Pat McGrath, everyone. This is the only Urban Decay palette I have ever kept. And it's the Naked Heat palette. Um, It looks like I have not touched this, but I promise I've done like several looks with it. I would I would wear it all the time. So I promise. It's, it's loved. Um... I really, Urban Decay's are a hit or miss for me. I wanted some of the other colorful palettes, but I, like, can't bring myself to do it when I already have so many. It's like, almost 40 palettes. Like, I'm insane. Yeah, I'm insane. Um, that's eyeshadow palettes, not even, like, face palettes included or anything. <laughs> I'm crazy. So I will be keeping this because I do like the oranges in it and I feel like I don't have this similar, like I don't have a similar color scheme that I can get from all my other palettes, if that makes sense. The next one we're going to talk about, these are, so the last two from this pile are my Dominique Cosmetics. So I bought the Latte 2 on my own and she's very well loved in the shimmers the shimmer sections I haven't touched it in a while actually oh my god it's been a long time I will bust her out too I have like a list of palettes now that I need to bust out to like see if I still like them um but I know I like the formula I know I like the colors I know I love the shimmer so she's definitely staying in my collection this one I won in a giveaway. Thank you, Dominique Cosmetics. I was so excited to win a giveaway. And that's the original Latte palette. I have used it twice, I think, now. I'm really weird. If I give stuff for free, I want to, like, hang on to it and not pan it. Which I need to get out of that mindset. Like, it's makeup. It needs to be used. I don't know what my problem is. Um, but I really, really enjoy the colors in this. Okay, it's just me, but, like, these colors feel so out of place. Even though I know that they look beautiful with the other colors in the palette. Like, I know they work, but they just look out of place to me. I think that's just me. I think I'm just being a baby. 
my shadow palettes. This is gonna be a really long video, so I'm really sorry if you hate long videos. <laughs> you don't have to watch it all. So the first one I'm gonna talk about is the Natasha Denona Sunrise Palette. <sighs> so gorgeous. Absolutely beautiful. I bought it with another Natasha Denona palette and I gave away that one and I really preferred this one over it and I've used it a few times. Yeah, I just like it. It's beautiful. I'm gonna try and fit palettes into my little box of them down here. Um, the next one I'm gonna talk about is the um, Lunar Beauty Strawberry Dream Palette. This palette is so pretty, like, oh, whatever, too much blush. Sorry, I was just wanting to do a comment. Um, so, this came broken, so ignore the gold shimmer. Um, but this palette is just stunning. Uh, the colors blend beautifully, the shimmers are beautiful. I just overall really, really enjoy it. And I need to dip into it a little bit more. Um, it's been a while. And like the moon is embossed and it's like, it's like, um, you can feel it. Like it's not just a picture. And like same with the clouds. Packaging honestly is like 50% of the, of the thing for me because I'm just a big packaging whore. And I just love this. I just love it so much. Next one I'm keeping. This is the Huda Beauty New Nude Palette. I love these shades gorgeous they're beautiful I don't like the concealer thing I don't understand the appeal of that I think it's so that you can like conceal your lids and just go but like I don't know I just don't I just don't like it you have to take out a concealer brush too much going on for me um but everything else about this palette I love so the next one is artist couture erythral bloom and it's very pretty um, I do feel like I have a lot of these colors, like there's nothing really, there's nothing that really like stands out about this palette for me. It's beautiful. Before I got the blends palette, this was like a really great, um, pastel kind of palette. I just don't, I don't use it enough to keep it, so I am going to declutter it. Okay. This is the Natasha Denona Peak Palette. This was a BoxyCharm exclusive. Um, and it's just a little neutral baby. I personally love these shades on myself. I'm going to keep this one because I just love these shades on my face. Like, on my face personally. So, this is the Rare Beauty True to Myself Palette. I already know I'm going to declutter this because it's very cool toned. And those shades just don't work on me. And there's like a big glitter shade in the center and I don't use glitter so sadly I'm going to have to declutter it I do love the formula though of the mattes and the actual shimmers I absolutely adore them they blend like butter it's nothing against this palette it's just not my shade Ooh, okay this is my real her four this is real her four palette like shadow palettes number four this is the embrace yourself palette another little neutral baby these are warm tones are definitely more up my alley and this is basically all warm tones so i will be keeping her she's very pretty ah another pat mcgrath quad i got this for christmas so nobody like call me out for it this is their i don't know it doesn't say it doesn't say which one it is but it's one of their quads yeah i am keeping her because she was like this was $65. $65. Another one that I'm going to have to declutter because I just don't use it. Um, it's another neutrals palette. It's the Fenty Beauty uh, Snapshadow in True Neutrals. Beautiful, beautiful little palette. Great for travel. I just don't use it. I have a bunch of neutrals. I can't justify keeping it. I did really, really enjoy this one. Um... The only one I haven't liked from Fendi was their peach one. It was just too light on me. Like, I'm pale, and it was too light on me. So, that's my only, like, concern slash. Yeah. The next thing, the last eyeshadow palette. This is the last one, I swear on my life. This is the Midas Cosmetic High Times palette. It's really cute. It's a marijuana palette. 
yeah um it's green and like cool tone this is the only cool tone palette i think i own that i'm like in love with um this is my green palette that's part of why i got rid of the just my luck palette because this is my green uh i love it i'm keeping it it's a great palette i used it for grungy looks most of the time very grunge beautifully blends i love the shimmers all right so i'm getting rid of six palettes um if you're my friends <laughs> if you ever want anything that's been used you're welcome to tell me just text me and be like hey I saw you getting rid of that Fenty palette. Can I have it? And I will say yes. I'm going to go to Single Shadows next. I'm going to do this by brand because I have a lot of ColourPop. And not very many of other brands. Okay. Let's start with ColourPop. So I have the shade Special Delivery. She's the little teal shade. Oh, you can see the usage on her. I am probably going to keep it because I just feel like I don't have a lot of shimmers that look like this excuse me, um, other than in the mint palette, and I don't know, yeah, ColourPop was, like, the first brand I really got into, so everything, <gasps> everything is very special to me, so I'm annoying, but I love it, um, this is a green shade called Empire, I definitely have this shade in the Midas Cosmetics Medics palette, so I'm gonna declutter this one, they look really used, but it's just because they're like a weird, like, texture, just so people know. Like, low color pop, though, so. Okay, the next two are gold shades. I actually used this one on, in this look today, and that is Here We Go Again. This is a really beautiful gold shade. Like, I love this gold shade. I am obviously going to keep this one. She's gorgeous. She's beautiful. I'm probably going to get rid of In Harmony. I feel like it's just too similar. Um, I really liked it though, but I just I I can't I can't justify keeping it. Oh, this is another green. This one's cusp, which I have not used, so I'm gonna declutter that one too. Um, nothing against cusp. I just don't know why I keep it. This next one is race you. I don't use it either, so I'm gonna declutter it. What's this one? Arrow. Oh my god, I feel like I've had this one forever. I'm gonna keep this one. I just love the, like, duo. Yeah, I just love this one, so I'm gonna keep it. Oh my god, Sidekick was, like, the very first shadow. I repurchased it, but it was my very first shadow. It is so old. Um, I have to throw this one away. <laughs> like, I have to throw it away. It is that old uh banana daiquiri oh i'm keeping this one i love this shade beautiful teal shade like oh she's stunning i love her okay this one's gonna turn out so the next one i'm gonna go this is touch and soul then this one is golden tangerine i feel like that can replace the sidekick one so the next one i'm keeping that one by the way i think i said that this next one is hollow mulberry Oh, she's crumbly. Oh, she really crumbly. I'm going to throw her out. I think, I think she's met her match. She's done. Okay, last three, I promise. This one is the Dominique Cosmetics, um, like, liquid eyeshadow. This is an electric soul. I love this one. I'm keeping it. I use it with a lot of green looks. It just is, it's just beautiful. I don't know. I just love Dominique Cosmetics. I love them. They just make, I just have loved most products I've gotten from them, which is very rare for me, especially with a brand. <laughs> yeah. But I almost forgot this. So this one's a Kaja one, which I am going to keep until it expires in 2022. Um, this is their Bento Box in Toasted Caramel, Caramel, however you want to pronounce it. I adore the shades in this. Like, they're just really pretty gold shimmer shades. So yeah, I'm keeping her. I love her. This next two. So these are Laura Mercier ones. There is a magnetic pink. She's a pink shimmer. I love her. I'm keeping her. Shelby gifted me these. Thank you, Shelby. Um, you have gotten me into Laura Mercier and it's your fault that I'm poor now. 
just so you know this is a copper one i have used this a few times and it's just like it's beautiful and look at how much eyeshadow you're getting like i was so much for a stick eyeshadow and it lasts a while too i usually use this on days where i'm like just slapping some bronzer on and then i need like a shimmer it's the perfect one okay so we're gonna declutter four single eyeshadows and we're going to throw away two cool okay brows let's move on to brows i think i'm keeping almost all of my brow products i want to say i am of two elf cosmetics instant brow lift pencils i'm still pissed at them but i'm going to keep them because why would i waste why would i waste the two dollars that i spent on them this is the the last itty bitty bit of the one that i'm using right now so i am on my way out with that one so i'm not super worried uh, I have two that were gifted to me by Dollface Beauty. One's in taupe. Why did I say it like that? One's in taupe and one is in blonde. Um, those are next in my like rotation. And then I have a Shop Miss A1 Slim Brow in ta taupe. Taupe. I'm going with taupe. I like taupe. Um, yeah. Those are brow pencils. Uh, these are brow gels. So I have a Benefit one that I'm finishing up also from Shelby shall we um this is a brow gel i will finish her eventually she'll take like um, a year probably to finish because i don't use brow gel very often um i have an abh the abh dip brow gel i will be she's next she's next on my list this one's in blonde um this one's next after the benefit one to finish and then i have my nyx tinted brow mascara this is like hands down the best brow like gel tinted brow gel that i've used so i highly highly recommend it's pretty cheap too which is nice um that's like high end and like drugstore i love that nyx one uh another one from the dollface beauty uh pr package that i got that was with makeup the makeup something i don't know mlg files I don't know it's a thing where they like match you with brands for paid campaigns so Jasmine got me into that and she's beautiful and I love her uh this is their like not like their clear brow gel yeah uh, I mean I'll probably use clear brow gel after I get through my tinted ones I'm not gonna go through like my liners and my pigments because I'm keeping all of them I just love them okay let's do primers next Okay, so right now I am trying to pan. Okay, so the first one that I'm panning right now is the Silk Canvas Primer from Tatcha. This was $22, just by the way. <laughs> but it has lasted me quite a while. I mean, you're supposed to throw it out after six months, but I'm throwing it out when it's done. When it, when it is fully panned. Uh, I'm going to keep it. I love it. One of my favorite primers. I will end up repurchasing most likely. Okay, let's go with e.l.f. primers because I'm going to declutter both of them because I just haven't used them. So this is the Mint Melt. It was supposed to be a dupe for the Hydro Grip. I just don't feel like it did that. So I'm going to declutter her. She's gone for me. The Poreless Putty Primer. Look, I've used this like twice. This is a dupe for the Tatcha one is what people said, but I just feel like the Tatcha one was better on me. I don't know. I mean, I'm willing to spend that $22 if it means... It's going to work better for me, if that makes sense. Um, okay. Oh, these are, like, kind of primers, but they're more of, like, under makeup, like, glowy stuff. And it is the Glow by Auric. Or Auric? I don't know. Sorry, Samantha. Um, they're Glowless. This is in Morganite. Absolutely adore it. I put this on under my makeup when I want to look dewy, and it works. <laughs> um, the next one is the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter. I kind of assumed this was hype, but I bought it, and it is not hype. I'm so sorry. It's just not hype. It's just so good. I don't know. I love it so much. I adore it. Okay, next one. Next primer I'm going to do. This is the Juno & Co. Moonshine Miracle Cream. I love this primer. I will not be getting rid of it. Like, look at how far I am in it. Um, When I finish it, I will be getting a new one. I just really enjoy it it is a moisturizer and primer like in one type of thing so my dry skin I have combo skin but I like lean towards dry especially in the hot months 
I definitely lean towards dry so this is like a lifesaver and it doesn't make me look crusty like I kind of look crusty right now but it's fine right yeah it's fine um so I'll be keeping this one and then the Catrice I won this one in a giveaway the Catrice prime and fine I'll just finish it it's it's pretty good honestly I kind of like the way it looks under my makeup so it's not like okay it's not really it's like supposed to be a primer and um under the eye okay you can use this alone as like a tinted like moisturizer thing but I just prefer it under my makeup because it smooths everything out I don't know why I said like I kind of like it like I do like it and I would probably purchase it again if we're being honest this one is the shot missy clean slate I used it a couple times it didn't do as much as I was hoping but it's not horrible like if you want a new primer and you're looking for a cheap primer this is great I am however going to declutter it just because I don't use it and it could go to a better home of someone who will use it oh the next one this is like my holy grail primer besides the Juno and Co one and that is the milk hydro grip I feel like everyone raves about this but it really is worth it it is a great primer it's great I love it okay uh this one's a pretty fresh from ColourPop I personally really really like this I really enjoy it so I will be keeping it um it's great I just really like it so this one is the rare beauty I got this on Octoly for free so it was gifted um this is the pore diffusing always an optimist primer I don't really have I don't have like pore filling primers so this is the only pore filling primer I own right now I mean I guess some of them could be considered pore filling but I don't really consider them that so I will be keeping this for those days when I just am like I my pores are huge and then the last one is one that I have not used yet so I may end up decluttering it and that is Jekka Block it's a hydrating primer and I just I love hydrating primers and they're cruelty free so that's a bonus always a bonus when BoxyCharm sends me cruelty free stuff so I'm decluttering three primers the two elf ones and the Shot Miss A one we're on to foundation slash tinted moisturizers I know for sure I'm getting rid of at least one of these uh, so I'm gonna start with the one I'm panning which is the Pretty Fresh Tinted Moisturizer from ColourPop. This is in Fair 2W. I'm wearing it today. It's not like super high coverage, but I don't mind that, especially on days when I like don't really want to wear like eyeshadow and everything. So I'm keeping that one. Uh, okay, this is the e.l.f. Camo CC Cream. I am keeping this because it has SPF in it. Like basically the reason it is like super high coverage though so if you're using it like one pump is enough i made the mistake of doing two and i looked cakey like overly cakey okay let's just do the tinted moisturizers another tinted moisturizer is the profusion cosmetics feel good skin it is a skin perfector and it's medium to full coverage it's also got spf in it um i would definitely say this like is 100% a medium coverage like light to medium I don't think it's very full coverage I guess you could build it up to be full coverage um yeah I like perfusion they've reposted me twice the perfusion UK and the regular one wild to me um but I will be keeping this it's like really weirdly shaped but I still like it this is the Milani Conceal and Perfect Foundation Concealer thingy. I'm going to give it away just because I have not touched this in a month. I just haven't reached for it, you know? And I don't want to, like, let it die on me. Uh, this is the Shot Miss A A Plus Buildable Satin Coverage. I am 1000% keeping this. I adore the finish of this. It's a little dewy. Like, the satin finish means it's a little bit dewy, but not, like... You look like you were sweating, Dewey. You know, you know what I mean? Oh, this is one that's going to break my heart. This is not because I don't love this foundation. It's because I need a different shade. This is the Dose of Colors Meet Your Hue foundation. It is just too light for me. I It said fair, so I was like, oh, I'm fair. Yeah, it's it's like for people who are just even more pale than I am. Um, But I will end up repurchasing this someday in the correct shade. 
uh, the last two. I'll go through these really quickly because I'm keeping both of them. Catrice True Skin. Nice uh, dewy formula. Love her. And then I got this one at Marshalls. And it's the Beauty Blender Foundation. I actually really like this. It's like a buildable coverage um, foundation. I don't know. I actually really enjoy it. So I will be keeping it. So the two that I declutter are the Milani and Dose of Colors one, just because I haven't used them in so long. The rest of these I rotate between along with my panning ones, so. Okay, concealers. Let's do this. So Catrice Liquid Camo. She's a keep. I love her. I will end up repurchasing my, like, uh, highlighting shade and um, cover shade, a uh, cover-up shade. Like, I use this one to cover up blemishes because it's, like, my more my skin tone. Uh, the ColourPop Pretty Fresh, I will be keeping. Uh, this is the Jouer, Jouer, is it Jouer? Jouer Cosmetics. Um, this is their concealer, their Essential High Coverage Concealer. This is in Snow. It's my highlight shade. I love it. Keeping it. Um, I haven't opened this one, actually. This is the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer, so I think I'm going to get rid of it. I'm going to declutter it, honestly. Um, Laura Mercier, the Flawless Fusion Ultra Longwear Concealer. I got this out of Marshalls, too, which is shocking, honestly. Uh, I'm keeping it, though. It's, it's gorgeous. It looks stunning. Just stunning. It's beautiful. If you want a high coverage, like, high-end concealer, I recommend that. Or the Jouer one. I like the Jouer one. Um, this is a Fenty one. I won this in a giveaway, so I'm keeping it. And it's a beautiful concealer, and it matches me very well. These two are ones I've been debating about. Um, this is a BH Studio Pro. I think I'm going to keep it just because it's, like, really old and, like, halfway gone. So I'm just going to keep this one. It's beautiful. If you can find this, I don't know if they sell this anywhere, but if you can find it, I highly, highly recommend it. You should get it. Um... It's a great concealer. My last one is my Shop Miss A one. I have not used it, so I'm going to declutter it. Okay, so bronzers are gonna be next. Sorry, I'm like way close. Okay, bronzers are gonna be next. This one I'm keeping because I've already, I'm panning it like actively and it's the Fenty Beauty in this um, Sunstacker bronzer in Inda Sun. Just got a big pan. Uh, I will be keeping it. I will be finishing it off. No questions asked. So I'm going to go through cream products too, other than blushes, because that's kind of a separate category for me. Uh, this is the Cream Cheeks Out Bronzer in Amber. I use this to contour my face under my makeup when I underpaint, so keeping her. I have one from Salt New York that I'm not going to pull out. I'll pull it out when I pull this the cream blushes, and it's a, it's a cream bronzer. like It's an actual bronzer shade for me, so I will be keeping that too. Because I love cream products. I'm just a whore for cream product. I don't know what it is. I also won this Fenty one in a giveaway. So yeah, don't tell on me. I'm not going to do setting sprays because I'm keeping all of them. I just can't. Like most of them are halfway done. And if they're full, it's because I like want to use them after I finish these other ones. Um, I'm going to give away. I'm going to declutter this Milani bronzer. It's just very shimmery. And I already have my bronzers like done I just I know what I like I just don't like the shimmery bronzer eventually I'll get a different one probably another bronzer but for now not my thing um this is the bronzer duo it's the light to medium from Jouer Cosmetics again yeah this is my next bronzer I will be focusing on I think I'm gonna focus on my cream bronzers instead of this powder one because this is fairly new so I will be like if I need a powder bronzer I'll use the Fenty one I actually have to repress that Fenty one I think because it is like getting hard to pick up product on the brush if you can't tell also this blush is like really patchy I'm sorry it is not a good makeup day for me right now I'm struggling I also have one that I was gifted through Octoly it's the Becca sunlit bronzer keeping her so I have like what four powder bronzers and one is almost gone so I'm not super worried about bronzers okay Blushes. Okay, so I have two Essence blushes. I love Essence blushes. The one that I really, really enjoy is the satin one in 
Oh my god, this is funny. Satin coral. So I'm going to keep that one. This one I'm going to declutter because I just don't use this shade very much. Um, yeah, I'm just going to get rid of it. Alright, the next one. The Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Blush. This is in... Oh, this is literally just Pillow Talk. It's the she Cheek to Chic Blush, the Glow Swisher Blush. I am going to declutter it just because this shade is... A little too nude for my liking i prefer orangey blushes or brightly colored blushes i'm a big blush fiend so i'm gonna declutter that charlotte tilbury one. Oh my god catrice the blush box in golden coral keeping it i love this one there's just no way i can get rid of it i just can't uh persona this is their super blush in georgia it's another orangey peachy one i'm gonna keep it can you tell I like peach blushes? Oh, who would know? This is the Laura Mercier Blush Color Infusion in Fresco. Shimmery blush. This is like one of the few shimmery blushes I will probably end up keeping. This one is Flower Child from Becca. I'm keeping her. She's peachy. Oh, this one. Okay, Honest Beauty Lit Powder Blush in Foxy. I am going to declutter this one because I just don't use it. I don't reach for it. It's not one of my favorites. Oh my god, this one is one of my favorites. The Cover FX Monochromatic Blush Duo. This is in Soft Peach. I'm obviously keeping her. Obviously. This one is from Flower Beauty and it is Peach Primrose. I'm gonna keep it. I have used it a few times and I really liked it. Oh, another nude blush. This is Romantic Rose from Milani. I am going to declutter it because I just don't reach for it. It's just not my favorite. It's just not a shade that I wear very often. So I'm gonna say goodbye to it. Okay, these ColourPop. This is the Sailor Moon and the Hello Kitty collection. I... I'm going to keep both of them just because, you know, collector in me wants them, so I'm going to keep them. Um, this is the Shop Miss A Perfect Blush in Wispy. I have not touched her in months, so I'm going to declutter. The Essence Blush Lighter. Oh, I absolutely adore this. This one is in Coral Sunset. It's a highlighter and a blush in one. And if I don't really want to put highlighter on, I can just sweep it across my cheeks and call it a day. All right. Actually, I decluttered more blushes than I thought I would. That's five blushes I'm going to declutter. My friends are going to kill me when they see how much crap I have for them. Okay. So this is where I talk about the Salt New York. These are their cream blushes. I have three. I love all of them. All of the shades work on me. They're gorgeous. They blend beautifully. They don't look like this. Trust me. Um, the two Fenty cream blushes that I own are very, uh, oh no, I just smacked into that orange one, whoops, those might be, okay, whatever, um, are very unique colors to my collection, and this one is Drama Class, if I'm looking for a purple blush, she's it, I'm keeping her. I think I'm going to get rid of Fuego Flush because I have a lot of orange blushes. Like, let's be honest. I don't need another one. So I'm going to declutter that one. This is the Florence by Mills Shy Shy Blush. I really love the texture and color of these blushes, so I'm going to keep. Oh my god. If you've never heard me rave about these, the Tower 28 blushes are, like, insane. You can tell I've used, like, a lot of them. Um, this one is in Beach Please, Beach Please, and this is in, or no, sorry, I'm dumb. This one is in Magic Hour, and this one is in Rush Hour. I will keep both of them. I just love them a lot. <laughs> I just love them. Okay, let's do Rare Beauty. So, I have two blushes from Rare Beauty. I have the Soft Pinch right? Is that what it's called? The Soft Pinch Liquid Blush. This is in Joy. I love this shade. I use it under painting a lot. I'm gonna keep it. This is their Melting Blush in Nearly Apricot. Also love it. Also going to keep it. Uh, Milani. Oh my god, their Cheek Kiss. This is a Nude Kiss. This is the Nude Blush that I use the most. 
it's really pigmented and I sometimes don't pay attention and put like way too much on so don't judge me this MAC one is so natural glow glow flame blush um the texture is almost like oh my god I think I'm gonna declutter this one um the texture is like almost powdery even though it's a cream blush I'm gonna declutter this I don't like this can you tell I've never used it before now this is the M Cosmetics, their serum blush. This is in rose milk. I'm keeping it. I love it. She's gorgeous. Uh, milk Makeup Lip Plus Cheek in Work. You know I'm going to keep this. This is one of my favorite. This was like my first cream blush. This was the gateway to my cream blush addiction. Milk Makeup. It's your fault. Why did you do that to me? These two are ColourPop Serum Blushes. I... I'm gonna get rid of kiss kiss i'm gonna declutter it i just don't use like brown neutral blushes like i have powder blushes that i could use or like other shades that i could use um i have another brown cream blush so i'm gonna get rid of kiss kiss and i'm going to keep so cosmo i'm gonna declutter this color pop blush sticks you want to know how long I use this? I use this for over six months every single day and I barely made a dent in it. So one of my friends will really, really enjoy it. Oh, this is the brown blush I was talking about. So I want to give away from Ojai Beauty. They're an Urban Outfitters brand. Uh, and I have an orange one and a brown one in Sahara and Sunset. They're like these little puff. I like, I like this concept. They're little puff balls. You know, they're little puffs. So I'm going to keep them both. Okay, cool. We got rid of four cream blushes out of a collection of like 800. It feels like 800. Oh my god, I forgot. I also have one of my pan projects from Makeup Revolution. Makeup Revolution, this one is in Peaches. I am keeping it. It was a gift, so I'm keeping it. I'm not getting rid of any of my powders and there's no need for me to go through them, so yeah i have like three powders that's it one of them is like unopened wait no i opened it good enough though okay let's go over highlighters again because i obviously need to go through this like every couple of months all right let's get it so colorful highlighters forced Highlighters first i have this ColourPop one in honeymoon and it's like a white and blue tint but I also have the Kaleidos one in um, Moon Cruiser, Space Age Moon Cruiser. I am going to declutter the ColourPop one and keep the Kaleidos one. I also have the Mars Melter um, version from Kaleidos and I'm also keeping that because it's my only red highlight. I don't use colorful highlights. I use them very sparingly. Oh, I'm like really slouching. This one's from Urban Decay and it's their Afterglow 8 hour powder highlighter in Aura. I'm keeping her. I love pink. She's like one of my only pink highlights. So I'm gonna keep her. Okay, last colorful one. This is from Black Moon Cosmetics and it is their highlighter in Glow Worm. They call it a bioluminescent pressed powder, but it's a highlighter. Um, yeah, it's green. I'm keeping it. So this one's also kind of pink and I'm going to declutter it and it is the Milk Makeup one in Mars. I just don't, I just don't use it. I don't reach for it. It's just not for me. I have a lot of gold highlighters. None of you judge me because it's a lot. So the first one I'm keeping until the end of this year and it is the Fenty Beauty Kilowatt Duo in Lightning Dust and Fire Crystal. I have a giant pan right now in Lightning Dust. Um... Yeah, I'm just going to keep using it until it's as long as I can go, you know? I have another Fenty Beauty one. This is also in a peachy pink shade, but I'm keeping it, and it is the one in Girl Next Door in Chic Freak. Okay, Hourglass. This is their Iridescent Strobe Light. I really like this for natural highlight. It is my replacement for when the Fenty one goes in the trash because it's like eight years old. No, it's like three years old, I think. This is the Nabla um, Skin Glazing Highlight in Ozone. It's beautiful on the skin. I am keeping it. Oh, my Real Hair Makeup one. I am defo keeping. Love this one. Absolutely beautiful highlight. It's just gorgeous. 
Oh my god, wait, I have cream highlights too. A colorful one. Okay, I have a purple one. It's a K-Beauty brand, so I'm keeping it until it, like, dies on me. This is a Profusion Whipped Glow Highlighter. Uh, I think I'm gonna keep it. I really like it. I like the, like, putty texture. Um, this is a Dominique's Cosmetics Skin Gloss and Golden Dew. I bought this myself. I absolutely adore it. I will be keeping it. Milk Cosmetics. This is a Stargazer Highlight. It is beautiful. Hello? You can't even see it. It, like, fell on my hand, but it's really pretty. I love the texture keeping her she was expensive um laura mercier <laughs> this is a laura mercier face illuminator in indiscretion i love it i'm keeping it i know what i like um this shop miss a loose one is it's in cosmos i don't use loose highlighters at all so i'm going to declutter it becca okay this was like my favorite white highlighter and this is in vanilla quartz i found it at marshall's so i didn't have to pay full price for it but it's this beautiful like whitish like white gold almost like shade and you can like it's just very dewy you can't even see it on my hand it's very dewy and i love it oh i got this as a sample from sephora this is a um say say i don't know how to pronounce it i'm really sorry and it is their glowy super gel in starlo and i am keeping it all right, we got rid of three highlighters. Um, let's do some lip liner. One from Gerard Cosmetics. She's like on her way out. She's very small compared to like every other lip liner. She's on her way out. So I'm going to keep her because I have to. Um, this one is from Cash Beauty. It is the Rust Nude Lip Liner. I absolutely love it. I'm keeping it. Um, my Shop Miss A one in nude, I am going to declutter. I just, I have so many nude ones and that one's just like not my shade for nude. Oh, okay. These Saint Lux ones, I am going to keep. I just love the shades that they are, so I'm keeping them. Oh, my Shop Miss A one in Nom Nom, I'm keeping it. It's the only orange lip liner I will ever use, <laughs> just so you know. Oh, my ColourPop ones. Let's go through those because there's like a lot. Okay, ColourPop. Let's do it. So this one is in Cool BFF. I don't use it, so I'm going to declutter it because it's just like the wrong shade for me. This one's in Obvi. I don't like this like pinky tone shade, so I'm going to declutter that. Curvy, I am keeping. I adore this lip liner. I use it all the time. <laughs> um 951 also keeping it's like super old but i don't care bff3 a really great brown lip liner i mean i know i have like eight of them but it's great um good and plenty this is like the pinkest the pinkest nude i go okay let's go through these um smashbox twist what is it called it's like the always sharp lip liner in safe word i am decluttering it i don't like it i don't use it Dominique Cosmetics. This one is their creamy fill and define lip liner in Crush. And it is a shade that I really love. So I'm keeping that. I'm also like going through it. Like you can't even, like you have to look in to see it now. So I'm keeping it. Um, NYX. This is a NYX lip liner. This is in Sand Beige. Another nude. Wow, shocking, huh? Uh, this was a gift. I did not buy this myself. And it is the Kylie Jenner Bare Lip Liner. And I'm going to be decluttering it. Ah, uh, Becca. This is their, um, this one is in Vacation. And I am keeping it. I just love this one. Alomar Cosmetics. This is in Co Co Coquette. Coquette? I don't fucking know how to say it. Um, another, this is like a deep brown. This is the only deep brown one I use. So... Wow, I got rid of a lot of lip liners. Five lip liners are going to be decluttered. Okay, I'm going to get rid of these two lip glosses from Lunar Sky Cosmetics. Again, I just don't support the brand anymore, and I just don't really want to keep them. They're pretty full, so I think my friends will like them. So I'm going to get rid of this MAC lip gloss, and this is in Heart Something. I'm going to get rid of it. It's very pink and not my style. 
I'm gonna get rid of this glam light one in eggnog. I just don't like it. I don't know. It's just not my thing. I'm gonna get rid of glass lip from the I Love Sorry E um, collection with ColourPop. Oh, there's another another Lunar Sky and another lip locker from MAC. So those are all getting decluttered. I'm going to declutter this Milani Keep It Full lip plumper. Too pink for me. Don't enjoy it. But it's really cute. It's a nice red like look. Um, this is a Charlotte Tilbury, one of her like luster ones. And it's just too sparkly for me. I don't use this. This is a Clinique like thing. I'm not going to use it, so I'm going to give it away. Colourpop Roller Gloss. I have so many glosses. I just don't need another one. And I've never been a fan of the roller, like, thing. Um, This is from Rimmel London. It's a Stay Plumped one in Peach Pie. I just don't like that shade for me. And then this one is also from Glam Light, and it is the Peach Margarita Gloss. And I'm going to get rid of it. Um, Yeah. Thanks for hanging out with me and doing a declutter of my collection. I don't have as big of a collection as a lot of influencers because I try to declutter very frequently. Like I, I was aiming for like once a month. It's been a couple of months for me right now. So I'm really happy that I got to do it. Thanks for watching and see you next time.